today, we're going to go over reference qualifiers. Reference qualifier is a tool that helps you filter out data that's returned by a reference field or a list collector, pretty much anything that goes and grabs info from another table and brings it back to your reference field. There's three different types. There's simple, dynamic, and advanced. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the easiest one, which would be the simple reference qualifier. So as you can see with this catalog item, it is a, it's going to use the simple reference qualifier. Uh, so in this field, it'll bring back any user who's active and email contains test. So we'll go ahead and do that. So you can see from the results here, everybody has tests in their email and they're all active. In this reference field, it will bring back all users who do not have tests in their email. So as you can see, there's no test in the email. So let's take a look at how to set one of these up. So this is the variable for the users who are active and email contains test. So after you set up your type as a reference and you come down to the type specification, you would set your reference to your reference table. So this is the table you wanna grab data from and bring it back. Uh, in your reference qualifier here, you'd select simple. And with a simple reference qualifier, uh, it just uses a condition builder to bring back the data and it will only bring back whatever is met by this condition. So active is true and email contains test. So pretty easy. So next we're going to go over advanced reference qualifiers. They'll make the use of dynamic reference qualifiers a little easier to understand. Whenever you need to filter out the data and it's more complex and requires a scripted solution, you would use an advanced reference qualifier. Now there's a few steps we'll go over with this one as it has more pieces than just the condition on the variable. So here is the catalog item that we're gonna use as an example. So what you can do is select the user that you wish to edit and so you select the user you wish to edit and it will bring up in the remove from group field, it'll bring a list of groups that the user is currently in. And then the add to group field here, it will bring back all the groups they're not a part of. So if we change the user, we'll see that change around. So yeah, as you can see, all of those groups shifted. So let's go ahead after seeing that, let's take a look at how that's achieved. So we're gonna look at the remove from group variable first. So as you can see, it is a list collector type, which is a uh, is also referencing another table. So again, you'll have to select in your type specifications, you'll have to select the list table that you wish to grab data from. And where this varies is you're not gonna use that condition builder. You're actually going to call a script include in a function here. So as you can see, we're calling it the check user group script include and using the membership check function and then giving that function the variable of that user that we selected. So let's take a look at that script include. So as you can see right here, when it calls that and give, so it's using that function here, it's feeding it that user that we selected. We're going to that, the table here, the sys user GR member table. We're gonna query it for that user that we selected. And then while it finds any records, it's going to push those groups into an array. And then after you have everything that you want from your glide record query, you will return that information. So we're returning it right here. So this line here is just making sure that admin is not a selectable group. And then it's returning the group selected array that we pushed from there. So it's gonna only return the groups that they're in so that they can be removed. It won't let you try to remove someone from a group that they're not in. And looking at the next variable, it's pretty much the opposite. So same thing here, we've got the script include, the function, and then what we're gonna give to the function. And exact same script, 
just for simplicity's sake. And you could always combine this into one script or into one function on the same script. I just split it up to make the example a little bit more clear. So same thing here, only difference is we're gonna be returning the groups they're not in so that they can be added. So it won't return any groups that they are already in, only the ones they're not in. So again, this is the advanced reference qualifier. So now that we've gone over that, we'll go over the last example, which is the dynamic reference qualifier. So the dynamic reference qualifier is essentially the same as an advanced reference qualifier. It's just reusable. They still require that initial setup where you set up the script include and the function, but they're easier to reuse if you have multiple variables, which you wish to use the exact same advanced reference qualifier. So we'll go ahead and look at an example of that. So same thing here, I did use similar to the previous example, just to make it a little bit easier to understand. So this field here, we can select a user and what it will do is return all the groups that they're not in so that you can add them to those groups. So you can see the results are different each time. All right. And now we'll go to the variable, take a look at this, of what's different in a dynamic versus an advanced. So same thing, you're gonna have a, some type of reference field selected in your type specifications. You're gonna select your table here that you're referencing. Now in this, you're gonna select dynamic. And what that's gonna do is populate this field. It's not gonna populate the field, but it will show this field, uh, which you can populate yourself. So this is where you're selecting the dynamic reference qualifier and where this table is coming from. So you can see here it is pulling off the dynamic filter options table. So we'll go ahead and look at that. So that was user groups. So we're on that table here. This is the dynamic filter. So looking at that, you, see, you can see here's the name of it. Here is where you would set up that same script include and function that you did for the advanced reference qualifier here. So you can see we're calling that script include with the function and the variable that we're feeding it. Now, obviously when you're using a dynamic reference qualifier, you're going to want to try to make your variables as general as possible because the more specific it is, the more specific it's going to be in its use case. Now, the only difference in this field versus the other one, as you can see, you do not need to prefix JavaScript to your script include after you put it in this, this field here. And then you're gonna select your reference table right here. And why that's important is we'll go back to our variable page here. If you select a different table, you're actually going to get different dynamic filters. So let's just choose this table, clear this out and let's search that table. So as you can see, there's no dynamic filters on this sys GraphQL type resolver table. So if we want to use that user group, the user groups dynamic filter that we created earlier, we're going to need to go to the sys user table. So we'll go ahead and put that back in and we'll watch that change. Gotta find the table. There it is. So now that we're on that table again. So that's actually the sys user group table, my mistake. All right, now that we have the correct table selected, we'll go back here and check. And as you can see, there was our dynamic filter. So we can select that. So again, the main difference between an advanced reference qualifier and a dynamic one is after you set up a dynamic reference qualifier on the dynamic filters options table, you can reuse that anytime you select dynamic reference qualifier, as long as your function and your script include take into account whatever item you're going to use it on or whatever variables it needs. Other than that, I hope that this video made 
reference qualifiers a little bit more easy to understand. Hope you guys have a good one.